Today we're going to use what we have learned about squares and rectangles and area and perimeter. We're going to put it all together and we're going to do some problem solving today. Um, so one of the first problem types we're going to be doing is where we find one side of a rectangle when we are given the area and the other side. Here's an example of that problem. It says the area of a rectangular carpet is 63 meters Grab my highlighter here. Um, the area is 63 meters squared. Okay, there it shows it on the um, rectangle. And its length is nine meters. We need to find what its width is. So using what we know, um, let's solve to find the width. So what have we learned about area? Well, we know that area is length times width, um, and that equals area. We know that the length is nine. We don't know the width, but we do know that the area is 63 meters squared. So in order to find the width, we need to really say, okay, what, let's erase this so we can see, we can say what times nine, what times nine would give me 63. Now, if you don't wanna do um, multiplication, remember the inverse operation will give us the same answer. So we could say 63 divided by nine, um, that's the same thing as nine times what would give me 63. And we can see that that would be seven. So the missing side length would be seven meters. Let's look at another example of a rectangle um, where we are solving to find a missing side length. Again, we are given the area and one side length. So we know length times width equals area. If we plug in what we know, we know eight times the width would give us 96 because that's the given information. So really we're asking ourselves, what times eight gives me 96? Now, if you don't know that basic fact, that's okay. Let's just divide because we know the opposite of multiplication is division. So 96 divided by eight it goes into nine once, one left over, bring down my six. Oh, eight times two, or sorry, two times eight gives me 16. I subtract, there's nothing left over. So 12 times eight gives me 96. So that missing side length must be 12 yards. Now let's look at a similar, similar problem type, but this time we're dealing with a um, square. So we are asked to find the side length um, and the perimeter when we are given the area. So you can see down in this problem, we're given the area of this square. The area is 25 centimeters. So our first task is going to be to find the missing side length and then use that side length to find the perimeter or the measure around, right, the square. All right, so if we know that area is equal to the length of a side times the length of the side, right, length times width, um, then we can say that 25 um, is equal to five times five. Now in a square, we know that there are four equal length sides. So we're really looking to find what times what gives us 25 and the what has to be the same number, right? So five, five, if those two side lengths are five, that would give us an area of 25. So that's the missing side length would be five centimeters. Now to find the perimeter, Remember, perimeter means to measure around. So we know there's going to be five sides with a measure, or sorry, four sides with a measure of five centimeters. So four times five is 20. So the perimeter would be 20 centimeters. Let's look at one last one with a square. Okay, we're given a square 
we know the area is 49 inches squared. We need to find a missing side length and we want to also find the perimeter, okay? So to find the missing side length, I just need to remind myself that a square has four equal sides. So the two numbers when multiplied together to give me the area have to be the same number. So what times what would give me 49? Well, I know my basic facts. So I know that seven times seven is 49. So the missing side length would be seven inches. And then to find the perimeter, I know I have four sides with a measure of seven inches. So four times seven is 28. So my perimeter would be 28 inches. So what you're going to want to remember as you're doing these problem types is that first of all, um, area is the measure inside of the rectangle or square. Perimeter is the measure around. Okay, so keep those two things straight. Also remember that area is measured in square units, right? Because we're seeing how many little squares, um, uh, square inches would cover this shape, okay? Um, and perimeter is just measured in um, inches, centimeters, yards. So it's area that uses the square units. Um, the other thing you'll want to remember is that squares have four equal length sides. Rectangles have opposite sides of equal length. So we're kind of combining everything we've been learning so far um, with squares and rectangles into some fun problem solving.